All right. Hey, guys. Um, ah, good to see you. Uh, so um, you may have clicked on the worksheet that I left for you guys um, to do today and, and notice that it looks something like, uh, like this and that there's no directions there. And that is a bit of a problem. So I wanted to take a few minutes right now and just explain to you what you're supposed to be doing with this worksheet. So, you probably also noticed that there was a link um, on the assignment page. And when you click on that link, it brings you to a page that looks like this. Okay. There is information here that you should click through and that you should read. You should always read about what you're going to be doing, but before you actually do it. So, um, there's two parts. One part is just going to be about the producers. Click on a challenge a little overview of that first page of the worksheet and, and what it's about. Um, step one is going to be for the, the, the top part of that page, the, the, first, the first chart. Um, step two is going to be about the second chart. And this is just some background information to help you answer the questions. Um, the second page of that is, is going to be about the food web. Here's a bit about, about the food web challenge. Um, step one is about the first section. Step two is about the second section. And then you got some more information under for your consideration. So, all right. So what exactly are you going to be doing? I'm, I'm going to walk you, I'm going to walk you guys through the first little bit of this activity, um, and then set you free to do, to, to do the rest of it. If you have any questions, you can always uh, send me an email, rwalker at waterbury.k12.ct.us. Okay. So you're on this worksheet here. Well, well, before that, let's go back. Um, so after you read through all the information, okay, uh, you're going to click right here where it says Open Simulator. This is going to open the, the, the simulation that's going to give you the data for, for the sheet. All right, so Open Simulator. And it brings you to a page that looks like this. There's a whole bunch of little colors there. And over on the, uh, the, the left-hand side, you got something that says Food Web, and there's some different animals and plants that you can click on. So we're, we're going to start um, with, with the default. All right, we, we got two plants here. Um, and what this is going to do is when we click on Run, it's going to take the starting population of plants, and it's going to predict what is going to happen to those populations over the course of, I believe it's 100 years, or 100 days. 100 days? Oh, over the course of 100 days. Um, so over on this page... Not there, here, over on the sheet. Um, th this simulation is going to start with uh, five thousand of each, and underneath it, you're going to make a prediction. What do you think the ending prediction is going to be? You have no idea what these plants are. It actually says in the little description they're fictional plants. They're not real plants. So just get in your mind um, what you think is going to happen if you have two species of plants for two species of plants living in the same place at the same time for 100 days, what is going to happen. So you're going to fill that information in here. I'm just going to make up some numbers. I think at the end there's going to be uh, 2,462 of plants A and 2,463 of plant B. So I think plant B is going to win. Um, you should hit pause and, and fill in what you think for your population. I don't know why I'm just sitting here. You probably did hit pause. Um, okay, so let's go back to the simulation. What we're going to do is we're going to hit run, and the simulator is going to run for 100 days, and we're going to see what is likely to happen to this population of plants. Ready? Set. Here we go. And oh wow, so one of them spiked all the way up, one of them spiked all the way down, and it's still running. You can see the little bars going there, and we're done. Okay, so we have plant A is represented by this this light green, um, this light green color. It starts at five thousand, and it ends at ten thousand. So in this chart over here for plant A, we're going to type in. Plant A is 
plant B did exactly the opposite. Um, we're going to start at 5,000, drops all the way down to zero. And it stays at zero because if you have zero, that you, you can't reproduce to make more that, than zero. So in, in this chart, we're going to put zero. Okay. So that's all you're going to do for the first for, for, for the first part of this. All right. That's for uh, step one. For step two, come back to this page, read about step two. You already read about step two, but you should probably read about step two again because you probably didn't actually read about step two. Um, so you're going to read about step two. You're going to go to the simulator. No, read, read about step two. Uh, you're going to come to your worksheet. You're going to make a prediction. You're going to come back to the simulator. You can reset. You're going to change what the step says you're going to change, which in this case is adding an herbivore that eats plant A into the mix. And then you're going to run the simulator, see what the... Uh, See, see what the numbers end up being by adding what looks to be a, a tiny orange bunny into this population, into this, into this ecosystem. All right. Um, so that's for the simulator. You have uh, two there you got to do. And then there's a second part on the second page um, w with two more there. Just just read through the information on that first page. Follow, follow the directions there. Um, what else? Ah, these big boxes that are empty that say responses to questions slash notes. What questions are you talking about, mister? There are no questions written there. Well, true. So let me show you where the questions are. Back here, uh, under each step, you're going to find two questions. So there's two questions under step one. There's three under step two. In the on the second page, um, it looks like there are four questions under step one. I think I see a pattern, and uh, pattern's broken. So three under step two. So those are the questions that you are going to um, type your answers for in in these boxes as you go. Um, I hope this explained what you got to do. If not, please send me an email at rwalker at waterbury.k12.ct.us um, or just leave a comment right under here um, or, or wherever the, the comment box is on Google Classroom. And um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope I'll see you guys soon. Don't know if it's going to happen, but I hope we do. Um, and, um, one last thing, um, make sure that if you haven't already, you, you please, um, tell your classmates to get their Google classroom going and get the Google classroom code, um, plugged in so that they can catch up with all this work because all the stuff right now, um, we're doing it because we're being responsible teachers and you guys are being responsible students. And I, I applaud you for that. Um, very soon. I believe that all this is going to be mandatory and they're going to need to be there to be doing all this stuff. So please spread the word um, and I will talk to you uh, next time I talk to you. Bye.